In this video, I'll show you how to set up a Wacom Cintiq. In the three provided cables to the top, one of them is power, that's this one here, and then these two cables are your input cables. They go into your computer. This one is USB and this one's HDMI. With everything plugged in and then you hit the power button in the top corner, this now acts as your monitor, though it doesn't have any touch screen capabilities yet, so we need to install the drivers. To install the drivers, we need to go to wacom.com slash start. Select which one you have, which product you have. So if you have a Bamboo or a Wacom or a Cintiq, ours is the Wacom Cintiq 16 and 22. So scroll down until you see where you can install the drivers. First, step one and select what OS, what operating system you're on. In this case, we're using Windows. If you have an Apple computer, you would install Mac. It'll ask you if you wanna save the file. Just go ahead and continue and click Save File. Open your Files folder and in the Downloads folder, click on Wacom Tablet and it's a .exe. Once you click on that file, it should bring up this tab that says the app you're trying to install isn't a Microsoft verified app. That's okay, just click on the bottom setting, which is change my app recommendation settings. We're going to change this just from the Microsoft Store only to anywhere, but warn me before installing an app that's not from the Microsoft Store. So this will allow us to install the drivers that we need. Now click on that same file again. Now we have a similar tab that comes up, but it's a little bit different. It says the app you're trying to install isn't a Microsoft verified app, but now we have the option that we can install it anyway. The next tab that will come up asks, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes. And now it's installing our drivers. And you should get a check mark that says success. The pen tablet drivers were successfully copied. You must restart your system to complete the installation. So now we're going to restart the system. Once you click the restart button, it'll start the process of restarting your computer. And now it's rebooted with a pretty cool picture. Once all your drivers are installed, the pen will actually work and you can control your mouse and then this setup wizard will pop up. Click the start button. You can right click with your pen by holding down that bottom button whenever you click and it'll open up the right click menu. Click next and then you can also customize your settings accessing the Wacom desktop center through the express menu to customize the pen button so you can make them do what you want. We're going to keep all of these default. If you want, you can register your device. It'll register your product to receive additional benefits. We're gonna do this later, not now. And that's it, and we're done. And that's how you set up your Wacom Cintiq 22.